minutes. I appreciate that Krishna is returning once
Srila Rupa Goswami Park, in his Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu, he has explained what is Shuddha Bhakti, Uttama Bhakti, Anyavilashita Shunyam, Jnana Kama Dinabritam, Anukuyenu Krishna Ushilanam Bhakti Uttama. That when a person engages all of the endeavors of his body, mind, and words continuously in the activities of bhakti, in the angas, the limbs of devotional service, under the guidance of bona fide guru and Vaishnavas. And he cultivates those activities which are favorable to Krishna. And that devotional service is not covered in any way by the desire for fruitive activities, the desire for the fruit of his actions, not covered in any way by uh, jnan, which is knowledge which is opposed to the principles of bhakti. And when in his heart he has no other desire but the desire to serve Krishna, then that is called uttama bhakti. Then Srila Rupa Goswami part, he further explains that this uttama bhakti, it has three stages. Sadhana Bhakti, Bhava Bhakti, and Prema Bhakti. The first stage is called Sadhana Bhakti, which means devotional service in practice. The second stage is called Bhava Bhakti, devotional service in uh, ecstatic emotion. And then Prema Bhakti, devotional service in pure love. So, if we want to attain the devotional service in pure love, we will have to go through the stages Sadhana Bhakti to Bhava Bhakti and Prema Bhakti. So what is Sadhana Bhakti? It may be commonly conceived that if I am chanting Hare Krishna, if I go to Mangalarti, if I do Kirtan, if I read Srimad Bharatan, then I am doing Sadhana Bhakti. Hmm? And I am a Sadhak. Hmm? But Srila Rupa Goswami Pad has explained no, what is the true conception of sadhana bhakti? He said, Kriti sadhya bhavet sadhya bhava sa sadhana bhida nitya siddhasya bhavasya prakatyam riti sadhya What is real sadhana bhakti? Real sadhana bhakti means when one is engaged completely in the angas, the limbs of devotional service, with a particular intention. What is that intention? To become accomplished in Bhava Bhakti. That means Niti Siddhasya Bhavasya Prakatyam Ridhi Sadhita. Prakatyam Ridhi Sadhita. Within the heart there is a potential relation, eternal loving relationship with Shishi Radha Krishna Yuga. That relationship is there, eternally established. Niti Siddhasya Bhav. It's an eternally established mood within the heart. Mm -hmm. And those activities which are undertaken whereby Prakatyam Riddhi Sadhita, that, that mood will become fully manifest. Those activities are called Sadhan Bhakti. So, in order to undertake Sadhan Bhakti, then first we have to know what is the Sadhya. Because two words are there. Sadhan and Sadhya. Sadhya means the goal, the aim and objective. And sadhana means what we do to achieve that goal. So, unless the sadhya is specifically defined, unless we know exactly what is my goal, then we cannot take up the appropriate means to attain that goal. So, Srila Gurudev and other Vaishnavas uh, during this festival have spoken about the goal, the aim and objective of the devotees who have come to the line as Srila Rupa Goswami part. What is that objective? To attain the service of the lotus feet of Shishi Radha Krishna Yuga with the inclination towards Srimati Radhika. This is called Manjri Bhav. Tata Bhava Ichamani. So, understanding the Sadak is a person who understands completely what is his goal. And then his hearing and chanting is completely uh, performed for the achievement of that goal. 
the goal of the Rupa Nuga Vaishnavas is not attained by Vaidhi Bhakti. Vaidhi Bhakti will have to be practiced in the beginning. But as Krishna has said that Sakali Jagati Mori Kori Vidhi Bhakti Vidhi Bhakti Bhav Bhaiti Nahi Shakti Everyone in the world is following the path of Vaidhi Bhakti. But this Vaidhi Bhakti is not, does not have the Shakti, the power, to awaken the bright bhav, the mood of Vrindavan. So, if one wants to follow in the footsteps of Rupa Goswami, we will have to practice Vaidhi Bhakti, following all rules and regulations. But by following the rules and regulations, in the association of those Shuddha Vaishnavas, who have greed and who are accomplished and expert in bhajan, then by their mercy and association, gradually some greed, hearing from them some greed will come into our heart. And then one will practice Vaidhi Bhakti, but the mood will be different. Just like two men are walking to the house of another man. So one man, he's the friend, and he's going there, he has a gift to give to him. And the other man, he is a thief, and he's going there to steal. So both are walking. Both are performing the same activities, but their internal moods are different. So in the same way, it is not to say that those performing Vaidhi Bhakti are like this. This is not the point. But the point to say is that the practitioner of the Raganuga Bhakti, he will follow all the aspects of Vaidhi Bhakti. But internally, his mood will be what? Following in the moods of Srila Rupa Goswami part. Mm -hmm. Just like Srila Rupa Goswami has written, Many beautiful prayers. Anything more? What he has left about sadha and sadha, sadha. Can you? And if not, then you should see. I can't have anything else. Then go in the water. Stand up and carry. Anything he has left. He has done everything. Sorry. He has done everything. You are right or wrong? Huh? Are you right that he has told everything? How do you told? No one can tell something? Or Prabhu? What he has left about sadhana? Don't go to the higher church. I am going to So, Sila Guru ordered me, who is sadhak? What is the qualification of sadhak? Then we can address him, we can call him as a sadhak. Sadhak means who are doing sadhan, they call sadhak. At first, we have to fix our goal. So Rupa Sanipat explained in his, explain his Bhakti Rasamit Sindhu, Kriti Sadha Bhavit Sadha Bhavasa Sadhana Vida Nitya Siddha Bhavasa Prakartam Hridi Sadhata Kriti Sadhya in this world, ultimate goal is bhav. So he who doing his all anger heart to achieve that bhav, by which means they are adopting to achieve that bhav, it is called sadhan. Who are doing sadhan, they call sadha. Billa mangala deva sadhato parikirtita. Who is qualified to take darshan of Bhagavan, they call sadha. This is the main symptom. That who is qualified to take the son of Bhagavan, they call sadha. So example, Billa Mangala Daya Sadha Kapuri Kirtita. Billa Mangal etc. they are sadha. When Billa Mangal leaving his home and kit by Chintamani prostitute is going and he want to go Vrindavan Dham, then he is 
composing so many slokas with nectar for Krishna's ears, so it is called Krishna Karnamita. So, Bhila Mangal is eligible to do darshan of Bhagavan, so it is called Sadha. So, who is qualified to take darshan of Bhagavan, of God, a supreme person, the Godhead, they call Sadha. Hare Krishna. Shri Krishna, Shriman Nadeen Krishna Prabhu was speaking about how she built a Mangal Thakur became a sadhaka and he was explaining by this verse that a sadhaka is one who is qualified to have darshan of Bhagavan but this means that he is qualified to have darshan and also he may not yet have had darshan he may or he may not have had darshan but he is qualified by dint of his intense burning desire we see by the example of Bilba Mangal Thakur, what was his intense burning desire? Most of us know this story. How he was attracted to the prostitute, and in order to go to her, he had such extreme eagerness. And then when he was told by her <coughs> that why, that if you had such eagerness, the same degree of eagerness, of intense desire, of actual greed, to, uh, to attain Krishna and Krishna Bhakti as you have to come to me then uh, you would have attained so much in your life this is so wasted I'm just this flesh so this startled him and he left and went toward Vrindavan and we know the story of how he came toward Vrindavan and uh, again there was one incident where he saw a very beautiful wife of a brahmana along the way and he became uh, somewhat attracted and then he wanted to enjoy with her but instead what did he do? he asked her uh, my dear brahmani you please give me your hairpins and then as he took the hairpins from her he plunged them into his own eyes poking out his eyes blinding himself forever and then he stated that if these eyes will only distract me from the path of, of my uh, intense desire to go to Vrindavan, to go to Krishna, to attain Krishna praying, then I do not want these eyes. This is the intensity of the sadhaka. So actually to become a real sadhaka, a real practitioner, is a very high stage. We are aspiring to become sadhakas. We are praying and hoping that one day we will become sadhakas. And we are praying that one day this necessary greed and intense desire, which is known as loha, will enter into our hearts. But this will only be possible if we have the sangha, if we have the association of rasika, tatvagya, and bhavak bhaktas. Those who have this bhav within their hearts and those who are relishing these uh, transcendental emotions and rasas, if we have their association, then it will be possible to attain even a small degree of this lobha, this greed. Then we, we can become sadhakas. said in, in Bali, so I'll just repeat that. Um, in the discussion of sadhana and sadhak, Gurudev asked, what is sadhan, or that which is that which is practiced by the sadhak? And we tried to come up with an answer, but he said, first, you should understand the word itself, sadhan, sadhan. What does sadhan mean? Sadhan can be broken up into two, into two portions, sa and hum. Hum means a treasure. Like riches, and sa means one's own. So sadhan means one's own treasure or one's own riches. 
that which resides within each and every living entity's heart, as the Pujapada Prampyarajan Prabhu had said, which is eternally established in the heart of every jiva, is their eternal relationship with Krishna. And Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, in his Bhaktivinoda Vivek, at two points in his first chapter, is exclaiming, O oh, Vaishnavas, he says, you are really not meant for simple, simple or uh, bhakti as it appears, as it appears to many of us. You are actually meant to practice vaihi bhakti that is that has um, log within it, or that is in the same way that that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give the name, but he came to give praying too. So praying combined with the name actually leads us to to the goal, to our own treasure. So that is what I could remember from what Sri Guru had said about Sahab and Sahab. Thank you, Sajan. He was going in the right way. But he left something. And also Namin Prabhu was in line. But he also missed something to be added in. Sadhak, hmm? can you tell uh, Billu Mangal was from from beginning he was Sadhak or not? Beginning of life? Or? From beginning. He was Sadhak or he went and the last he became Sadhak. When he was Sadhak. In the end, later he became Sadhak. And when he did oh, this? Always no. <laughs> <laughs> but you should know all these things. If you will come in Madhya Madhika, I am telling all this for Madhya Madhika. Those have some intelligence to know all this. I know that very rare persons are devotees. But yet I am telling you should try to go in Bhattamatika. So I am coming to the point that <coughs> who is Sada? So first you should know what what is Sad Sad. He told that Unyabhilashitasma. And he explained that what is bhakti that is oh you should control anyone to give voice. Anyone should go and control. And if they are not uh, then you should take their ears and bring them here. <laughs> If they are not huh? obeying, take their ears and bring here. We will tell them. <coughs> so he explained, Anna Bilashitasana, Dhyan Karma Adikna, Ankuli and Krishna and Shiranam Bhakti. And he explained, what is this? And you are by all his senses. Done, all senses and mind by move. Sabrevan services to Krishna. This is meant. But it will not be to come if the two more symptoms, but outwardly, symptoms will be added. That's it, we know anybody desire. Anna Bilashita If you are doing all practices to serve Krishna, to, have, to please Krishna, 
But there are so many desires that it will not be pure. If there is no desire, even, and you are practicing, but if it is covered with Jnana Karma, that is, fruitive comes, and by knowledge, two kinds of knowledge. What? Ekatva Gyan. This, this is very bad for you. Even the Krishna Supram, Supreme Personality of God. Then Uttama Bhakti will be. Will not be. Will not be. Will be Bhakti. Next Bhakti. Here, we should know that. If anyone is practicing this Anya Vilasita Shunya, when anyone is chanting, remembering by his senses, by his tongue, and hears Harikatha from his ears, and practicing Achan and all other things, doing bandana by his mouth and everything. It is not your body. Not your body. When this name will come automatically and dance on the sadhak kan, by Shuddha Shakti. And when he wants to uh, hear by lacks and lacks ears, automatically coming. And when automatically is bound to do so, to achan and all other things. Then really this is Uttama Bhakti Atma. It may be of two kinds, one in bhav and other in pain. So if anyone is anyone is uh, chanting him by his tongue and sharing Harikatha by here, there, air, tears, and worshiping by hands and other things by his senses. Really it is not Bhakti. As an example, we are going to do any fire sacrifice. No. And if I am telling that, oh, be ready for sacrifice, so bring some ghee, bring some oats, dry oats, Bring so many things and bring the book. Make a baby. Baby comes. What is all that? Fire. Fire. Bring some umbrella leaves. <coughs> Decorate with leaves. And Anyone is bringing it. Is it the real sacrifice? No. But without this thing, sacrifice can be done. So if anyone is bringing, it is not really sacrifice. But when he is doing, taking all these things, making baby, and after that taking he and everything, and with mantra he is telling that Om Krishnaya Swaha Om Naradaya Swaha is and by heart and mind and by tongue he is giving that for Krishna for devotee then it is sacrifice but if anyone is not doing well he bringing flowers and he oats Fire. Even it may be told that 
it is for sacrifice so it is for sacrifice it is, this is sacrifice but really not so if anyone engaging in his tongue his ears by ears he is hearing hari katha and he is chanting by his tongue we are using our senses for krishna bhakti what it is for bhakti this is not bhakti yoga when transcendental that bhakti will come and its self name will dawn on him like chaitanya mahaprabhu he was going to but and he uh very tightly he took his pen and go back to the hall what you are doing why you are taking your pen in your know, hands like that people that he never obey me i'm going to <laughs> but home and always he chants i don't want that is to chant because at that time i will be impure mercy always so, uh, name comes and chants so this is really name on the tongue of that devotee if it is coming and hari katha coming or don't stop like by chit mara don't do i don't want to take meal water no sleep nothing it is so relaxed relaxable and it is so now we are engaging all these thing by force by intelligence so it is not pure bhakti no but it will be called when we are engaging our senses so that net should come and come for our heart the fountain and tears hari katha will come and really bhakti will come by bhav it will come bhav means mood rati so when when we engage our all these senses ears tan or all engaging all these so it is not bhakti your bhakti but uh, it is for that thing when you will do to have bhav kriti sadhya bhavet sadhya bhava kriti means our senses tan here and all of us kriti sadhya bhavet sadhya bhava when indicating for how that we found how how we should come always then getting all senses and everything in these things by our practice by our intelligence but also praying also like praying to guru dev to krishna this mood should be there that please prashod deya this commandment then sadha bhava for how it will come from uh, for, from this practice how will come and ascend or manifest here so if all these practices are for how like this is having this mood then for very far away it can be told sadhan and those who are doing they will be called but really when when anyone will come in this stays oh very near to bhav and 
if he is doing for pain, his goal is what? First the goal was what? Then it will be sadhana. Sadhan. And when the goal will be pain, then he will not be called he will be called sadhak, but his bhakti is bhav bhakti. He is the sadhak of prem bhakti. That is, he has achieved bhav, or he is going to achieve bhav. So sadhak are of two kinds. First, only for them, they are doing all these things to achieve bhav. And second, when he wants to receive brain, and they are called sadha. So Bilu Mangali sadha of Raganuga Bhakti, and he has come in his last days up to bhav, like Bhakt Maharaj. They are sadha. Of what thing? Brain. Brain sadha. But we are sadhak for what? But if anyone uh, have this goal, then he will be sadhak, otherwise not. So if you all have the goal that we want to achieve, how? then you are sadhak, otherwise not. I can come to this point. Uttama Bhakti, you have heard Anyam Vyasika. If anybody, if anybody is doing sadhana for that, but his, these activities, these indivhavas are covered with gyan and creative and karma and knowledge. And also he has so much worldly desire. Then what he will be called? Party. And engaging is all these things. Oh, that is sadhan. That is sadhan. But no, not pure sadhan. So when there will be gradually going up, then first it will be called sadhan. When all the desires are also something. And also it is covered with gyan and karma. But he is practicing and somewhat going, 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 going. And if more is going, then it will be nishtha. More going then? Ruchi. And about everything is going, very little is there. Prayaki. Very little sadhana. His eyes have pulled down. Sometimes it and it is not covered, but sometimes covered. Then it will be asakti. And then, then how we come. Then really we will be sadhak of brain. Otherwise we are sadhak in two categories. <coughs> when we are engaging it, but not really this name is coming and dancing. Very kathai. So we can all be called sadha. If you have an object that or bhakti should be come to, then we will be sadha. Otherwise, so you should practice like this. I wanted to tell so many things, but time is over. And also I am not so well today. So I want that you should all together keep this light what? Yes. I should not be stopped, I should not be this things. Extinguish. Let's see. So that I may come again. I can send my representative. And you should not cry. For any for self. You should try to help those who are trying. 
Also, we are going to open the center here, and if center is open, Mahaprabhu is very qualified for, energetic for. I want that also to help me. Premananda. 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 You should all I want that Prajvalla Prabhu is senior Rosh, and he is so qualified. You should be in his guidance, you all Brahmacharis, in his guidance. And I want that all should help that body, this appointed body. So that how we can improve these things. So that we can help all the devotees here. I think more than hundred devotees are here. And more are coming. So I'm very happy to see that very soon we have so many devotees. So I want that they should be help. So in this way you should make some committee. Committee and plan. Also I know that what name is Prabhu? No, no. Yeah. Parmananda. Parmananda Prabhu. He is really Parmananda. Or very much I used to glorify Parmananda. Parmananda Mahatavam. What is true? Like that? Kho bhagyam, kho bhagyam, nant go prajau prasam, yati prajau parmananda, parmananda pura brahma. Or parmananda is, who is parmananda? Pura brahma sanatana himself, that shanna from him. So, I want that you should all, I cannot take all these men who are here, so many qualified as you are. Brahmacharya should also be very humble and so go to them and honor properly. Also you, what name? And so many. <coughs> so I want that also combined efforts. As at the time of Swami, Bhakti Vedanta Swami, all their energy, this will be energy. A book has been published. Very good book. <laughs> I want that to all should have this and read. So many doubts will go up for them. And you will not be cheated. If anyone cannot buy, what they have kept, kept the price, I know. Five dollars. Huh? Five dollars. Eight. Oh. If it will be needed, you can give to free if anyone cannot do. But I know that here in Australia all the devotees are well, yeah. well furnished, yeah. well houses. Yeah. And they can <coughs> take it for government. nothing. And if they cannot, I want that this will be given to us. Free of cost. <coughs> but I know that um, they can give more than what you will return. One, they can give you hundred dollars or for this. <laughs> and if not, why not then? And if not, that, that they cannot give, you should give free. That's all. And I want that here, with Vrajdalla Prabhu and Prem, some more books should be kept, that tomorrow will be good. And they can be saved. If they want, just now, we can help. If, do you want some help? Money help? Uh, if he wants any money help, I will plead to all, they will help you. Little, 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 and it will be very tough If you cannot pay for your center, center monthly rent, oh, you will try to do it. So don't be weak, very strong. If you want, then you should 
take advice from Brindavala program and others. And I think that you should all try to help so that this center may be an ideal center. Tomorrow I am going. So if any harsh word has been used by me, then you can forgive me for that. So all you should be humble. Humble is bhakti. Humble. Humility. Humility is bhakti. Oh no. Oh, I want to give dhanya bhakti. Thanks. Thanks. Those who are done so much labor for this, especially to Gaurangi, and some Sadhguru,
Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj. Then my preaching is successful. And if I have not remembered Swami Ji, then my preaching is like zero. Only I have come to this place. That you should all remember this very high class of Krishna devotee sent by Krishna himself, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the disciple of very authentic devotees of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sakhi So you should always remember him. If you are num not remember him and doing bhakti, I think that is not that is not that is bogus. He is the basic backbone of this bhakti in the West and Eastern country. So also you should always remember him. First remember him and then me. Then I will think that my preaching is Gold, <laughs> <laughs>